Welcome back. We're here looking at the energy market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, May 31, 2022. If you want to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and all my trades and my portfolio are available in the link down below. So let's look at the uh, WTI oil, and as you can see, we continue going higher trading at $117.18 for barrel, breaking below above, I mean, these previous highs here. And at this current stage, it looks like we are going to test uh, these highs, uh, basically grinding higher. So we are within this uh, bullish channel still. We are just bouncing back and forward. And at this current stage, a pullback towards the bottom here could be expected. If we break above here, then we are most likely going to test these highs that we saw back in the beginning of March. So, so that is going to be interesting to see. Um, we have the 50, you know, simple moving average also here that should offer resistance, and we have the 50 moving average here yet again. But the channel here, we're making higher lows, and uh, we haven't made a higher low in quite some time. So. Maybe we'll see that in the next few trading days. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is also bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. If we look at, for example, the weekly chart for natural for oil, we can see that we did rally all the way up towards $125 and then pull back quite aggressively. So at this current stage, we could be seeing this pulling back. So yes, we can look at natural gas and natural gas is not as bullish as oil was. There's also the reopening in Shanghai that also uh, also increased demand for, for oil or um, expected demand for oil. But here we can see that we basically got to the very highs uh, yeah, last week pull back all the way down towards the uh, 20 simple moving average and now we're just going sideways so 20 simple moving average has offered support and so has the 50 moving average so breaking below the 20 simple moving average could open the door to the 50 moving average and breaking below that then we have the 200 moving average down here but there are a few uh, major uh, barriers that we have to cross. We have this one here. This is roughly 6.5. Then we have a $7 range and then also the $8 range that we have to uh, surpass in order to go all the way down to the downside. Otherwise, we are just going to see this continuing going up. If you look at the MACD, it is still bullish. Stochastic is bearish and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So hope you find this helpful. You want to support job by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and good luck. And thank you very much.